ZBrush has several ways of resizing or scaling objects. Some of them are straightforward and easy to use, but there are some other ways that are less intuitive. In this video, I'll quickly review the basic scale manipulator and show you some tips and tricks for scaling in different ways. So we've got our cowboy here, and one thing I want to do is resize his hat a little bit. So what you can do is go up to the scale manipulator up here, or you can hit E on the keyboard. And what you get is this kind of manipulator tool with some weird knobs on it. And all you have to do is just click and drag on the model and it draws out a new manipulator wherever you might want it. Now you can hold down shift to lock this to uh, uh, more specific angles. Something else you can do once you've drawn a manipulator is kind of change its direction by tapping on these, uh, these various uh, lines around the manipulator. Okay, so let's zoom in on the hat. Now all you have to do to scale the hat is just click on the middle of one of these endpoints and it just simply scales up and down. Now let's say we want to scale from the contact point with the hand. So all you have to do is move the manipulator by clicking and dragging on the outer circle of one of the ends and let's just drag that over to the hand and now we can scale that so it stays in the hand. Okay, now let's say we want to scale the hat but not uniformly in all directions. One thing you can do is just click on the model, just tap once, and what it does is it creates a manipulator that goes in the same direction as the surface of the model that you clicked on. So let's try that again, just to get a better sense of what it's doing. So notice the manipulator is coming straight out of the surface from where I clicked on it. So let's put a manipulator here, and what I want to do is now scale this, but non-uniformly. So to do that, I'm going to click and drag on the middle of the middle point of the manipulator. And what this does is it scales in every direction except along the axis of the manipulator. So it's scaling this way and it's scaling this way, but it's not scaling along the direction of the manipulator. So I'm going to undo that. So it might be a little bit difficult to know how to scale if we want to make the hat shorter this way, but not make it any longer or wider. So what you do is go into the move manipulator and then click and drag on the end point. And so it just scales along the axis of the manipulator. It's kind of counterintuitive because it's in the move manipulator rather than the scale, but that's how that works. Okay, so we've seen how to scale an object uniformly in all directions, and then also how to scale in two directions, and then also how to scale in one single direction. I use these tools all the time. They're really great for making changes to the sizes of objects.